What's going on guys? Hit pause here with a fairly quick tip on how to align your static mesh versions of pieces of armor or clothing to your objects, uh, to your characters. If you see here I have a club that's in his hand and this uh, witch up here, which is what I'm going to highlight right now, is actually a blueprint. So if we take a look at her blueprint here, you can see that the hat is actually in fact, if I can get off of there, is a separated mesh here on the, um, in the, in the, in the components over here is in fact a static mesh component if you look over there on the left. Okay, and what it is, is it is linked to the mesh, which is the witch, and it is told to be on the parent socket head, which is just in fact the bone name. So if I take this, and I delete it, okay, you can see that she does not have a hat. I'll spin all the way around. There's nothing up her sleeves, all right? So what we do is to add this the first time, we come in here and we say add static mesh, and it's already set to which hat because which hat is selected in my content browser, but I'll uncheck that real quick so we can go through. So static mesh, and we have that empty, so we'll just name it hat, and we come here and we type in hat, and we show which hat. Now you'll notice that the hat is in fact just basically on its side and it's not doing anything, okay? It's framing her little butt there and it's just sat there. So what we need to do is we need to link it to her, okay, which still doesn't move it, all right? And then what we do is we hit this, browse available bones and sockets, and we scroll down and we find her head bone here, uh, which is on here somewhere. There it is. As soon as I click that, boom it is in fact right on her head. Now, uh, important to note here, that if we take a look at the location and the rotation, they are in fact zero. Now the reason that they are zero is because they are in fact zero distance and zero rotation away from this behead bone. Okay, so that's actually what you're looking for if you want it to socket perfectly. I could move it still, and you'll notice that it's only really moved in the Y value here. So as soon as I reset this, it goes back. Now, if I were to unlock the hat from the head by just dragging it back on there, okay, it doesn't move, all right? But what's happened is that you can see that my location is 7, negative 6, 70, and I'm also negative 163 and 100, negative 107 or so uh, rotation. And that is based on the world position, which is this green axis here. Um, I, I'd have to hide the mesh to really see where that cross crosshair is, but it's right there where she's sitting, okay? So if I take her and I move her around, you'll notice that the hat does not come with it, okay? Now if I take the hat, and I link it there, you'll see that this didn't change. And the reason for that is because if you look at her position in world, it's zero, zero, zero. She's dead center, zero, 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 okay? And she's not linked to anything, well, except for the capsule. The capsule doesn't even give you a position. And the reason for that is because the capsule is the root of this entire actor, okay? It, everything is related to that. So the capsule is the inherent zero. So if we look at the mesh, okay? And now if I take it and move it around, the hat follows. But the problem is, which I can't show here, um, is that uh, the hat will not follow any animations. And the only reason that I can't show it is because I don't have any animations on her yet. I just posed her. In case this is a very new character. So while the hat is following the meshes object if I were to rotate it and whatnot if she were to take on any animations the hats just gonna sit there so she'd be you know rocking back and forth or doing whatever she's doing breathing the hats just gonna sit there you have to take my word for that one because like I said I don't have animations so what we need to do is again if you notice here now if I were to reset this boom and boom you can see that it actually gets put back to the origin even though it's still linked to her right so if I take her and I move her back and forth, the hat's going with, but it's not on her head, right? So this is where we pick the parent socket. Actually, let me undo that, okay? And then click here, and we'll pick the parent socket. Now notice the values up here, okay? So I'm about to pick the head bone here, but notice the values as soon as I click it, okay? Look what happened. It's now in that relation to her head. Okay, so from going from here to here, 
and being rotated to the side, it now is coming from this point and going from here to here, which is to the side. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. And all you got to do is just reset these two things. And that puts it right back. So now let's take a look at how we actually have to set the object up. Let me get rid of this uh, piece of toilet paper on our arm. That was from a previous attempt here, and the video didn't record sound. So if we take a look at the hat here, let's go by view and I say rotate it in a crazy direction or something if I align the hat to her head you can see that it goes right on there perfectly okay but you'll also notice that if I were to rotate it and I align it to the head bone without using orientation I think I missed the head there we go that it does it just stays in whatever rotation that it's in right so when I do alt a by the way for this tool here uh, I hit the head bone here if I as soon as I turn this on it works now if I just export this right now and I come back here and I re-import I come back here if you look at her you can see what happened to her hat okay it's right way back here okay it's way back here now the reason for that is because the origin in your export authoring application here uh, is the pivot of the object so <clears throat> excuse me I need the pivot to be um, here so if I take a look and I try to rotate the hat here notice how it spins along its own pivot right however that is because I'm using my pivot if I use what Unreal sees as the pivot which is the view center the hat is going to rotate like this. It's going to move away and it's going to basically work like that. So if I come into UE4 and I take the hat and I rotate it, notice how it spins around in a big arc. Okay, You can see where its pivot is. It's here. right? So what we do is we make sure that the hat gets moved to 0, 0, 0 and in rotation, we make sure, it's, notice it's negative 90, negative 90, that is zeroed out as well. That puts the hat on its side, but when we export, come here and we hit yes, we hit OK. We bring it in and we re-import now, uh, which is here. You'll see the hat turns on its side, but it also gets placed right back on her head. Okay. So, if I were to make another hat, uh, we'll make a cone. I'll make another hat. Okay. And what I'm going to do is align this cone to her head bone. See how it went on its side? Right? So I've aligned it to the head bone, but it's like totally incorrect. So there's two ways to do it. Number one, you can go to the hierarchy tab and just affect ob object only. Go by local here so we make sure and we'll go by angle snap by hitting A and we can just say hey 90 degrees right and say oh it's too low on her head I'm still on object only so I can move this into place on her head right obviously I would model it like it looks like a hat like this one but when I export this it will now be in the correct place when it gets socketed to her head okay so if I don't do it that way undo Let me get off of that and can I not undo anymore okay well I can't undo anymore so let's just make a new one if I do it this way cone okay and I'm just like hey you know I just wanna put it in place which is a viable method of doing it you know so here's the hat on her head and Obviously, this radius is a little bit big, right? So now she's a dunce, okay? So there it is. But what happens is, I know this is exactly where I want it, right? The mesh is perfect. So in this case, what I need to do is I need to affect the pivot only and align that. Remember, Alt A, Align Tool up here. If you want to just click buttons, okay? And we click on the head bone, okay? That's her head bone sticking out of her nose right there. And again, make sure that we do both orientation and rotation. Okay, we hit OK. That puts the pivot where the exact bone is. So if I click the bone, notice there's no change. 
in the position. And if I go by local, you'll see the axis change. So we got X up, Y forward, and Z to the right. Now that's just cat rig. Cat rig is stupid. Okay, but if I also look at this, you can see that it's the same. I get absolutely no change between the two objects, and that's what's important. Between the bone and the object, this does not move. Okay? And then again, when I am finally ready to export, remember to turn this off over here. I just need to be by view. Okay, and this is important too because some people are going to be like, hey man, I fucking click on it and it says 000. You told me it's got to be 000. What the fuck, dude? You fucking doesn't work, dumbass. And then everybody's coming and yelling at me. Well, the fact is, is that you're on local, which is uh, referencing basically its own coordinate system. So it is in fact zero away from itself which in everything in all cases is always going to be true you are always zero distance from yourself so try going by view or by world okay and you will see that it's in fact 1.7 in the X and 165 in the Z because remember it needs to be when it exports it needs to be put here at the origin so on view we come here. Now again, local, oh, it's fucking zero, it's zero, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. No, it's on, it needs to be on view, okay, and is negative 90, negative 90, so we go zero, zero. Okay, and you can see it gets positioned in the same way that the hat does. When I export this, which would be this now, okay, so I can delete this guy. When I export this, you come here and you do, in fact, link it and tell it what socket to use. It gets put in the exact right location, okay, and everything just works. So that is how you do it. All right, so there she is with her hat on. And this is Hippos signing off, so thanks for watching.